Hello, welcome back to the allotment and the channel. Um, quite a quick turnaround actually, I only uploaded the video, last video, um, yesterday. So I'm back down again with a quick video. And the reason for that is um, a couple of my subscribers, mainly Martin over at the um, Hanley Plotter channel and Debbie, um, who um, is one of my subscribers, suggested taking, well, first of all, Martin said he'd never seen such sickly looking um, squash as that any time in his life. And I've got to agree with him. Um, and Debbie came in just after that and said, why don't I dig them up? Um, because they won't put on much root growth. Dig them up, pop them on, put them back in the greenhouse and see where we go from there. I think that's a great suggestion. At the end of the day, they've got two chances, haven't they? You know, they're either going to die out there or we can at least give them an opportunity to get some respite in some warm soil um, and see if they pick up. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go over to the squash bed and have a look at that. So as you can see, still don't look very healthy. So all I'm going to do is just dig them up. And as you can see, they've not put much growth on there at all. So I'm going to place that in there and get another one out. Exactly the same. We get all this dead off when I get in the greenhouse. We'll cut all that back. But for now, I just want to get them out and give them a little bit of TLC. And you never know. Look, them roots have done nothing at all. I've also bought some liquid seaweed feed um, again another subscriber said that he puts that on his tomatoes immediately on planting them out so all the outdoor tomatoes I'm going to give them a little feed um, this bed should be ideal for squash it's got a hell of a lot of um, all rotted, well rotted manure. Um, it's got some leaf mold in there. Um, and obviously it's old soil, so it should really be good for it. So I'll get the rest out. We'll get in the greenhouse and we'll look at putting them on. So we're back in the greenhouse. As you can see, we've got these out and very very little movement whatsoever in those roots so i'm just gently going to take off the excess soil i'm going to snip all the dead off i mean this may be all in vain but it's worth a shot you know, at the end of the day, I spent all that time nurturing them. I might as well go the full hog. All right, what we've got is some really nice fresh compost. Um, and I've also put some of the Vitax um, organic fertilizer in there. Um, as you can see, it's not too big a size up, so I don't want it getting waterlogged. So I'm just going to pop that into there, give it a little water, and then hope for the best. God, that looks really sad, doesn't it, that? But we can give it a go, can't we? It's worth it. Jeez. 
This looks even worse. Look at those, look at the roots on that. Not branched out at all. I hear that there's a lot of people got similar problems with their tomatoes and their um, squash. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna even water these because to be totally honest with you, they feel absolutely drenched. So I might just leave them to sit in that, let the dry compost suck all that wet out of them and just see where we go really. But we're due for a downpour, whilst it's quite more mild, we're due for a massive downpour in the next couple of hours or so. So, you know, the end to the rain just seems to never come. Get this off here. Right, once I've done this, um, We'll have a look at the tomatoes, see what we can do with those. But I really don't hold out too much hope. Alright guys, I'll get back to you when I've done this. So here we are, they're all potted up. Um and I feel really relieved that I've at least tried to do something rather than just sit and watch them just rot away in the soil. And the one thing that were really evident whilst I were putting these on was just how cold and wet the soil felt. So squash, they don't like that, they need some heat. So whilst I don't hold out too much hope, you know, you never know. They may just turn the corner. As I say, I'm not going to water them, I'm going to leave them there, let them try and dry out a little bit, warm up a little bit, and we'll keep progress on those, and we'll keep popping back and seeing how they do. Right, what I've got to get them to now is see if we can get some life into the outdoor tomatoes. Again, you know, I felt that soil, so if the tomatoes are sitting in that, it's not going to be very nice for them. So, let's crack on with that one. So here we have it, liquid seaweed, and it says to mix half a cap to 4.5 litres of water. This is a 10 litre watering can, so I'll say two caps should do it. Or, or one full cap, should I say, and a little bit extra. And we'll give that um, a little mix, if I had something to mix it with. Right, let's get it down, and let's see if this is the magic juice. These don't look too bad actually today. Still not good, but. I'll do the other 15, get those done, and then we'll see where we go. So that's all the tomatoes on the front plot um, treated. Um, I've just got this last watering can full to take and do uh, the ones on the back plot. 
Uh, whilst they were down at the garden centre, I got myself some tomato ripe, and I also got myself some chicken pellets. Um, they'll be going down on the onions in the next couple of weeks. If it warms up a little bit, I'll get those down and I'll water them in. We have a problem over here, if we put these chicken pellets down, the pigeons actually come down and eat them. So it attracts them to your plot. So I like to either do it while it's raining and the rain can dissolve and soften them or I'll immediately water them um, after I've put them down. So that was just a short video today, just to show you the emergency action that I were taking to try and save the casualties that were the squash and the tomatoes. So fingers crossed, the casualty evacuation or Kazivak back in the military days was known. Hopefully these will improve over the next few weeks. Right guys, I will see you at the weekend. Fingers crossed for sun, fingers crossed for dry weather. And up until then, have a great week. Speak to you soon. Take care and happy growing.